Good morrow, Knights of Apollo. Together we have raised armies. We have fought many battles and conquered many lands. Well, today we are going to build a kingdom. This is kingdoms and castles. And I feel like I have a pretty good advantage in this game because I actually took civil engineering in college. No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's a lie. In fact, I didn't even finish the first two years of college. I dropped out. I'm, I'm pretty much a big disappointment to my family. Let's get started. So here is the beautiful country we will be building our great kingdom on. Uh, so here's our banners. We can pick through a couple different banners. I think you can unlock some too, but I was going to go with blue because, you know, that's kind of like my theme, but I don't want a lion. What? Like what? I'm going to go with the eagle, I guess, or the, yeah, or the, whatever that is, eagle, phoenix, whatever. Uh, and we're going to call this great land Pixipu Land. All are welcome. To join the glory of Pixipu's empire. We've got to pick a good location for our great keep. Now, I'm going to go near some pretty good resources. It looks like we got some stone here. We got some wood. That looks pretty good, but I don't want it too close to the water because it could easily be attacked. We do have this tiny island with one tree on it. I, I don't think that would be a good spot. I guess I'll put it right here and just wing it. Let's just see what happens. So, well, here's our keep. And we're going to go ahead and just plop that. I'm going to put it right here exactly all right it's year one we're building the beautiful keep this is great i'm really excited this game is awesome guys i i actually have known about this game for a while and i looked at the gameplay and i was like i don't know but then when i actually started playing it i was like oh my god this is so addicting i've got to make some videos of this here we go all right so we've got some people now what we need to do is build some roads uh so if we build that let's see I guess it doesn't really matter, but I guess we can make a nice neighborhood going towards this way. By the rocks, by the resources. So let's build some roadage here. And then on the road, uh, we're going to build some houses. A nice little neighborhood. We're going to keep it close. Oh, wait, that's all our resources. All right, we might want to slow down here a little bit. We do have some advisors here. We got, let's see, let's see. Good day, sire. We need some farms first to feed our workers. That is a good point. We got city. Good day, sire. Let's begin build our kingdom with some roads and then houses. That's what we did. Military. Just good day, sire. <laughs> just good day. I'm just hanging out over here. We got no military conflicts right now. So we're going to build this house, and then we're going to go ahead and build... Well, you know what? We need wood. We need a lot of wood. So to do that, let's go ahead and just chop down these trees and just get the townspeople going. We have a total population of five? Is that? No, we've got more than that, right? No, re no, we just have five people living here. We're a humble kingdom. Uh, we still have a long way to go. Uh, but yeah, with these, with the trees going down, we should be able to start building a farm. That's going to be the next objective. Okay, so if we go to industry, we should have enough here. Actually, we need to go to food and build the farm. We can only build the farm on fertile ground for now. You can build like a water system and fertilize the ground yourself. There's actually a lot of fertile ground over here because I think of the water. Um, but for now, I mean, this is, it kind of sucks because we're going to put houses here. But for now, let's put the farm uh, that's fine. Okay, cool. And now with the farm in place, I think we should go ahead and build more houses. Again, I'm going to try to avoid the fertile ground because I want that for farmland. And it looks like we have our first winter. Uh, thank God we built the farm, right? <laughs> we got some food coming in. A little bit of food. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, chop down more trees as well. Uh, we have no... Oops. We have no idle workers... There we go. Build those. There you go. Build this great king. It's already year two. Oh my god. It's year two. And we have three houses and a keep. And a farm. Like, I feel like I'm doing a terrible job here. But uh, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Okay, so we've got that. I guess we can go ahead and start producing more farms. We'll go ahead and do that over on this side. So, uh, oh wait. We got a little little let's see city so we have now construct we wait wait we have new construction but no one available okay that's not good so we've got i guess we've got too many people working the trees over here <laughs> working the tree what does that mean working the trees uh but we should we should cancel that get some workers on those houses uh, there we go now they're building okay so again i think we're just we might be building a little too quickly here we got one person idle that's going to take some time 
But as soon as they uh, chop the, the trees down, <laughs> excuse me, words are hard. Uh, we should be able to start building more. Let's go ahead and just look at our inventory here or what we can build. We could build more roads. We definitely need to get stone. That is the next major resource. And I believe this is some nice stone here. Yeah, stone. And it should be because of the road. This is actually a pretty good road. And we need more farms. Or are we? I'm sorry, not more farms. We need more houses. And probably more farms. I think that's going to be our main objective. I think the stone just has to wait a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to focus on farms and houses. Uh, we need a nice neighborhood here. Lots of people uh, to, to, to be able to work the farms, you know, and to improve the improve the community. Uh, hopefully we don't get attacked soon because I'm not ready for this. All right, so we've got farm. We'll just keep building in this fertile ground. Oh, wait, wait. You know what? I didn't want to do that. No. Cancel. No. No, I didn't mean to build another farm. No. <laughs> Mistakes were made. All right, okay, that's fine. Uh, what we can do, let's see, how much wood do we have? We should have enough for, yeah, another house. And let's go ahead and put the house, again, away from the fertile ground for now. We'll build another one there. So that should be enough to, uh, to get a better population. But I don't think they're working, oh, no, they're working on the houses. Okay, cool. Let's see, what do we got here? Sire, our food stores are running low. Perhaps more farms could help? Okay, so we are having... See, this is the problem. The more you... Okay, we need more farms. Basically, we need more farms. <laughs> we have too many people and we can't feed them all. And that's not good because we need these people. Oh, we can build an orchard. Ooh, let's do that. Orchard being built. Yeah, so you can see there's no real nice organization to my kingdom right now. I can go back and clean it up once we have better uh, buildings and whatnot. Oh, it is harsh storm. Sire, we have new construction, but no one... Oh, dang it. Okay. Okay, no, we've got people building. That's good. Yeah, I was a little bit worried there. Okay, we have enough. Oh, we actually have two workers idle. We have 17 wood. Is that enough? Yes, we can now build a quarry. And we're going to build this. We've got to build it adjacent to the stone. So we're going to put that right there. And now we have no idle workers. I love it. I mean, this is so cool. It's just, it's awesome. It's just like a chill game where you just sit and build. Now, it's not super chill. I am playing on easy, right? So, there is going to be, even on easy, there's going to be, like, there's dragons and vikings and stuff. But, uh, it's not going to be too bad because it is easy. Maybe later on when I really start to feel comfortable with the game, we can start to do uh, more difficult, uh, you know, more difficult of a, of a challenge here and have to deal with the vikings and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, the orchard is still being built. We have... Okay, we got a couple people idle. Are you guys working? Yeah, we got four workers in the quarry. Nice! Okay. So what do you want? Foods? Okay, we need more farms. Okay, well, let's... That, that orchard should really... Oop, let's zoom in here. Wrong way. That orchard should really help out there. But let's build another farm. Right by the water. We can even build some storage... Um, yeah, storage, stockpile, a small stock stockpile. That way we can start to store food. But right now, I feel like we're consuming so much food that we're not, we don't really need to store it, at least not yet. But what we do need to look for, and now that we're producing stone, we're actually producing quite a lot too. Uh, we need to look at these stone type buildings. Like we need to build a well. Actually, you know what we need to build? We need, we need trees. Dang it. We need lots of trees. Hold on. What, is, what do you want? Hmm. Our peasants worry about food in the winter. We must do something about food supply. Okay, maybe we do need to build a store. <laughs> maybe that's what he's hinting at. But we need more wood. And to get more wood, I want to build... Where is... A forester. Uh, but they, need, they require 15 wood. So let's continue to get more wood here. We do have three uh, idle peasants. <laughs> it's good to be the king. The peasants are mostly fine, but we could do better. Try examining a house to see how to improve our peasants. Con examining a house. Okay. 23 years old, weary but determined. Wood cutting, journeyman, stone cutting, apprentice. Oh, he's got different skills. 16, has bad teeth. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. <laughs> had a bad big burp? Just had a big burp. Okay. That's really important information, guy. This guy just had a big burp. Eager to sleep. Okay, that's that's a little worrisome. Congratulations! 
Pixapoo land is now a small village. All right, cool. Uh, I guess we need more farms. We got plenty of wood. Okay, so first off, first off, let us build, let us build a forester. And we're going to build, oh, we need roads. Dang it. All right, let's build a road and just have it go this way to the trees. We got a fresh patch of trees over here. Now that took up some wood, but we should still be able to build. Yes. And we'll put that right there, right there. All right. Do we still need, yeah, we need food. Oh, we need food bad. Okay. Well, we've got the orchard. We've got multiple farms. I would assume that this was enough, but damn, they need so much freaking food. All right, let's build this farm right here. And we've got a couple idle workers here, which is good because we can continue uh, to expand without building any more houses. But I think because we have such a large population and we have so many idle workers, we just got to put them on the farms, man. We need more food. Why is, why is this not building? Let's go ahead and build another one. There we go. Now that we have the forester building, let's see, what's, what's up now? Mm. Sire, our peasants worry about food in the winter. We must build, do something about food supply. Okay. First off, before we do the food supply, I want to build, I want to build a well, which requires five stone. So the, the reason we want a well is because sometimes like random fires will begin or like, let's just start like burning farms down because you know, farms are very flammable, especially during the summertime. So we need to get a well here. And once they finish this building, is anyone building here? Come on, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna put the well, the well. <laughs> we're gonna put that right in the center over here. I think we need to start building some brothels. <clears throat> Peasants are starving. Oh my God, they could start dying. More food, dang it, more food. All right, how many idle workers do we have? I still wanna get that well, well, well. Why can't I say that? I'm hoping this orchard, oh yeah, plus 22 from the orchard, hell yes. That's gonna be so good. There we go, get in there. Produce, get that wood in there. Or food in there, I, I'm sorry. All right, so we should have enough. So let's go ahead and continue to, let's put one more farm down. Dang it, that's all our wood, isn't it? I was gonna use that for the well, but now that we have this, how many workers? We got three out of three, okay, that, they should start producing wood pretty quick. Yep, sure enough, we can go ahead and build the well. And the well, we'll try to put this, we'll put it near the neighborhood, we'll put it right there. So that's gonna be a great location, that's gonna be a great area where people can quickly grab water and uh, get rid of the flames. Let's like let's make life a little bit better for our peasants. Try building nice large houses or other things that peasants might enjoy. Okay. So I think now that our I feel like our economy it's year six already. Good God. Time goes by fast. Let's slow it down here a little bit and kind of examine our buildings. So I feel like I feel like things are going pretty well. And that pretty soon we're gonna be able to invest in much better buildings. Now, we've got to make our population a little bit happier. Town center will increase happiness and attract new peasants. Uh, we do need 20 wood for that. I might go ahead and build another forester over here because I'm not too happy with the wood production. Mm. This means the tax, yeah, okay, we'll do that, we'll do that. We're gonna tax them soon, but <laughs> these poor peasants, we make them go to work, right? They're working their, they're to, you know, to, just working really hard and then now we're gonna tax them like it's gonna be ridiculous man. I couldn't think of an analogy for them working hard like working to the bone. I don't know. All right, here we go Oh, is it too close? Four tiles away. Oh, okay. Ah oh. I guess we'll put it right there. Okay, so that should be good. The only problem is that we don't have any more peasants to uh, build another house and I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just close. I don't wanna close the stone. Let's close the stone for now. And then we're gonna build another house. Industry, come on, where's this house? I wanna build a cottage. We could, we will soon. All right, let's build the house here. We're gonna face it the other direction. I don't wanna build it on fertile ground. So let's get them building. And that's going to help us, you know, bring up our population. 
And then soon we're going to be able to uh, continue to expand our great empire. I do want to build some nice, like, fancy structures that will improve the happiness. Um, like, a, let's see, like a town center. We got some queen, Lord Levy. Guardian of the force and all its creatures. Oh, boy. Let's build a small stockpile. We're going to put that right next to the castle here. So we'll put that right... Ah, uh, whatever. There's so much fertile ground over here. I love it. Let's just put it right here. That way they can store the food. So we're producing too much food, which is which is fine. Now that food's actually going to waste, we should probably start um, building more houses, getting a bigger population. And I'm going to invest into a town center and hope for the best there. Let's see. Come on, town center. Where are you, town center? Here it is. 20, we need 20 wood. So just, you guys keep working over there. You're doing good. I'm proud of you. We could build a road and go down here and start. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build a road down here. It's going to use up some of our wood, but that's all right. Build a road. Because I want to I want to put more foresters. Wood is so vitally important because it's such a, it's a, such a good resource, you know? So let's, let's build. Okay, that's not exactly the greatest of roads, but it'll do. It will do. Come on. Let's get building, boys. Man, this game's awesome. It's just so chill, man. I just love it. Here we go. Town center. We're going to put the town center right. Let's put it right here. Right here. So as you can tell, based on my layout here, I, obviously I didn't take any courses in civil engineering. But I know a guy who did. I don't think that helps at all, but <laughs> I know someone who's a civil engineer. I want to build a cottage. Houses hold up to 12 peasants. Has two heads of household... And bringing food and charcoal to their... Oh, do we need charcoal? Whoa, okay. Wait, where do I get charcoal from? Because obviously charcoal would be good for... Oh, charcoal maker. Oh, that... oh, okay, you don't need to put it near any kind of... Re... Where do we put the charcoal maker? I guess we could put it... I don't know, is that going to start fires? I don't know, guys. I guess we'll put it right there. Because <laughs> I just don't know. This guy's really stressing that we need a granary, alright? So I think that's something... We need to do how much is oh my god. It's 50 wood in 30 stone. Okay, cool So we've got plenty of workers now. I'm gonna stop building houses And we're gonna go ahead and fast forward here a little actually, you know what? Let's slow it down because I want to build another forester We're gonna put that right there. We're gonna build another forester here They're gonna get building and we should be mass producing wood and then I'm gonna put a granary uh, right near the orchard and we got ourselves a beautiful town, boys a b and girls. A beautiful town. <laughs> All right, harvest season is in. We got a bunch of wood or food there. <laughs> wood, food, whatever. Bunch of food there. Uh, how's our stockpile going? They got some stuff in there. That's cool. Let's see what? What? What now? What? 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 Okay, yeah, we. Okay, again, the granary. We really need the granary. We do have one extra idle worker. How? How close are we to getting this granary? Not close at all. Uh, we. Oh, you know what? I, I forgot. I closed this. I need to reopen this. Dang it. So we actually need more workers. Oh, I forgot about that. I was like, we got four extra workers. This is no big deal. No, this is a big deal. We need... We need more. <laughs> I guess we need... Let's build the cottage. Let's go for that. Oh, this thing's huge. All right, so I think we need to expand our... Let's build it over here. Let's put that right here. <laughs> the cottage will be right there, but no one is able to work on it. So let's actually close this this forester here because we already have three. Well, we have two now that we close this one, but they should be able to start building over here. So that's good. Ah, oh, the peasants think you're an excellent ruler. Congratulations. Thank you. I think I'm doing all right. I think I'm doing pretty well. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Build this. Come on, it's only one worker on it. That's the problem. That's all we have. Hmm. Peasants are very happy. That's, okay, we need to start taxing too. I, I got so many things. This is a terrible game for someone with ADD, man. At least, I, I'm not sure if I, have, if I have ADD, but it feels like it because I got so much plans for my great people. Okay, okay what are we doing? I just forgot. What, a granary. A small granary, a large granary. Oh, that's right. We can build a small granary. Oh, that's, I didn't even see this. I thought there was just one granary. Okay, so let's build a small one. Uh, where should we build it, though? I guess we'll... 
Yeah, we'll put it we'll put it right there. Put it right there. So that's our granary. Okay, so that's our next objective there. We need to build a treasure room, which is a funny name. I don't know why. Is that the is that the correct terminology for this type of building? A treasure room? Ooh, a tavern. That probably will bring in some money too. We can tax the hell out of that. Uh, so that's in castle, right? The treasure room. Yes, but we don't know. We don't have enough stone. How many people are working in here? Do we have the max? Yeah. So I think our problem here is we need to build another query. But oh, we we've got seven idle. So let's go ahead and do that. Build another query, which is located in industry, of course, naturally. And we'll put it right there. So we got another query. The problem with my city, I feel like it's a little too condensed. It's a little too, you know, blobbed up here. Is it year 11? Good God, time goes by fast. I've only been playing for like 30 minutes, man. So there we go, there's the query that's being built. We got 11 people in here. There, now we're starting to get some people. Now we're cooking with fire, guys. This is good. It's under castle. I always forget. Treasury. Oh, we're so close. There we go. Is that the right angle? Let's put it right there. Oh, the castle is expanding. Look at that. That's awesome. That's a castle, boys. There we go. And we got a treasury. So what that means is that we can start taxing the poor people who are working to the bone. All right, there we go. And let's build a, another another query. Right there. So there we have it. That's a huge industry right there, if I do say so myself. And that is a beautiful, beautiful population. Thankfully, we have not been attacked by anyone. I don't know if we need to build any kind of, like, towers. Because I'm sure that we can build, yeah, castle block. We can put a wooden castle block. We can build walls around us. But wait, no, walls? No, I don't want to build walls because that's going to keep us in. I want us to expand. I want us to grow. I think we need to probably close down an industry, which would be the quarry, and go ahead and build another cottage because those are pretty sick and they bring in a lot of people. So let's put another uh, cottage right there. And the happiness is 87, which is really good. But I think what I'm going to do now is build a tavern. So let's go ahead and speed this up. How many workers we got in this? This should be built much faster. Because I think we've got more workers on it. Yes, we got three out of four. So that's going to build much quicker here today, guys. Excellent. Excellent. I'm feeling it, guys. This is, this is awesome. This game is so cool. I'm really loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying it, too. Because... Uh, it's only like $10 right now on Steam. I don't know if it's on sale or just that's the price of it. It's really not too expensive. Let's go ahead and build. I want to build the tavern. The tavern will enjoy socializing here. Consumes food, improves villager happiness. Cool. Let's put that tavern. Let's kind of put it away from the residents. You know, it's probably going to get a little loud, a little crazy. Like if the house is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Just step right in, you know. Here we go. The tavern is set. But we don't have anyone to build it. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah, food! They're putting in the granary. How's our food? Oh my god, look at We can store so much more food now. Let me guess. We don't have someone building it. The peasants... The peasants grow unhappy. Have no access to a church or a library. <laughs> this guy... This guy's like, you should probably build, I don't know, like a church or a library to better the people. Nah, I'm gonna build a tavern. You know what? Where's the brothel? <laughs> Alright, where... Uh, I want to build... Where is the church? There's a hospital. There's the church. But it requires a lot. Oh! Oh! I forgot to tax people. That's what we need to do. Increase that tax rate. Let's do it three. Now that we're gonna have the tavern here... This is going to be uh, a place of great joy. They're going to be happy. We're going to start taxing them. So, yeah, right away we're already making... Uh, we're making about 67 tax per year. Which is not great. But as we grow our, our uh, kingdom here, it will get better. It will get much better. And I think pretty soon... You know what? Let's start opening up production here. So, I think this was closed. I want more stone. Stone seems to be harder to get than wood. So, open that up. And then we can go ahead and open this up. And unfortunately, that's going to be like most of the workers. But is this full? Is this... No, it's not full. So, that can bring in more people. 
How are these people feeling? 21 years old, saw a fairy once. <laughs> That's so random. Saw a fairy once. Yeah, sure you did. I think we need an insane asylum over here. I think that's what we need to build. Not no church. All right, let's see. But we should build a church, though. Uh, 50 gold. 50 gold, 85 stone, and 50 wood. The tavern has been built. We got three out of four workers in there. This is so cool, guys. There we go. The tavern is built. Um, we definitely need more population. If there's anything that could bring in more people, a library. Oh, we can build a library. That's something for people to do. We'll put that uh, right here. Right next to the residence so they can walk in. Well, let me guess. We need a church or some libraries. Yeah, we got a library. Library. Uh oh. Fire. Okay, good. The well. Guys, there's a fire. There they go. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, 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 uh. Get out the fire. Oh my god. Our empire. Fix it up. There you go. There you got it. Good job, boys. All right, cool. So I think this is a good stopping point here of our great kingdom. Let's go ahead and just press play here. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by liking the video. I will certainly do more of this because I really, really enjoyed it. But, you know, if you don't enjoy it, then I guess I'll stop and just play other games. But I, I think this is a good one. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.